July 29, 2014, will be remembered as a landmark day in Charles County. 18 years of planning, research, meetings, and obstacles ended with a simple cut of the scissors. The James E. Richmond Science Center, located at St. Charles High School, opened its doors for the first time. What once was a dream is now a reality. This is high tech, this is futuristic, but it's also a place where our teachers can collaborate. And just being in this building will help us to motivate our students to want to learn. I'm actually beside myself to see a vision, a dream, and to see it house everything that we started out is breathtaking. This is the new new. School districts, school systems around the nation, around the world need to take a very close look about what Charles County is doing here. It's a beautiful facility and what I'm particularly glad to see is that you have here a first-rate high school and that it's joined to the Science Center. The Science Center is going to be available for all the students in Charles County. This kind of thing is, is what kids get excited about. It's, uh, I remember going to, to science centers and museums like this when I was a kid and it sure got me interested in science and got me thinking about the future. So I think it's, uh, it's going to do that for a lot of kids. While many people and organizations help make the Science Center a reality, the building is named for the man who created the vision for the Science Center, James Richmond. Throughout this long journey, Jim Richmond never let the obstacles or the naysayers get in his way. Jim Richmond's visionary leadership, his determination, and his tenacity brought us to this moment. A dream that began over 20 years ago culminates in the opening of this amazing facility that bears his name. The center is going to change the way our children and our community understand the universe and the world around us. Thank you, Jim Richmond, for not giving up. I'm honored that they did that. It's another key anchor to the school system. It gives the kids unbelievable resources. Mm -hmm. It gives the teachers unbelievable resources to be better teachers by giving them what they need in order to grow and develop in their teaching. The Science Center houses two pieces of eye-catching, jaw-dropping technology. The first thing you will see, once the curtain is raised, is the science on a sphere. Students could actually watch the effects of a hurricane or typhoon in any part of the Earth as it is happening in real time. The possibilities are endless. For example, NOAA produces data, almost live data, on the atmosphere, on the oceans, and this information is readily available. Uh, students have the ability to take portions of those data sets and can create their own story. So you can see it essentially as their own term paper. If that left you wanting more, take a walk in here to the digital classroom. It's not a planetarium, even though the Science Center staff can show you the stars and planets. It is one of the largest digital domes built and can house over 170 people. You will be able to watch a variety of educational programs, concerts, and other events in the digital classroom. Who knows, you may even see a familiar face. Oh, I'm so happy to see all of you. Hi. Every student in Charles County Public Schools will get to visit and experience the James E. Richmond Science Center during the school year. In addition, events will be held on evenings and weekends for the community and public. The Science Center will bring unlimited resources and the ability to better understand the universe for everyone in Charles County. This whole facility will enable students to really understand how our planet works by actually using real data, the same data that NOAA and NASA scientists are using on a daily basis. It really fits perfectly into the mission of the Space Foundation to inspire, to enable and to propel humanity here you have no better inspiration. I think it shows a real commitment to trying to get kids to really start their, you know, dreaming about what they'd like to do, even if it's outside of science, if it's in the arts or literature, you know, it gets them thinking about, well, what is it that I really want to do? And I think that's the most important part. It all began with an idea and evolved from a drawing to a plot of land to a construction site to a building people can visit. The James E. Richmond Science Center is a good example of how big things come from small beginnings and great aspirations.
Our goal and dream has always been to be a world-class school system, and I've always been committed to that, and what we've tried to do is create a situation where the teachers could grow and learn and uh, turn the kids on to science, math, technology, and all the academics and related arts. It's impressive to see the adults uh, that we have here today, the expressions on their face. There are a couple of handfuls of students here, and that's great to, to see. This is just brilliant. I think it's inspirational, you know, and again, uh, not everyone's going to be necessarily interested in space, but the fact that you're exposed to something like that, where people are reaching out farther and, and higher, I think that, again, gets the individual student thinking about what he or she wants to do in the future, and, uh, and that's a good thing. As a center of community activity, we're very keen on this idea that a school should be one of the fundamental elements of a community that it orients community activities, that it gives identity to a community. I think this, this place will really act as, as a magnet to bring the community together and understand how our planet works and what we can do about it. I've been to the air and space. I've been to many museums, many planetariums, but I've never seen anything like the concept here, which I think is just going to put Charles County even further on the map.